In this video, we will be visiting the Wicked Dolphin Rum Distillery in Cape Coral, Florida. I can almost taste the mojito already. This is a hand sanitizer bottling machine, homemade. has a nice like subtle smoky smoothness to it and then we have our bottled in barn which is going to be aged for six years so this has a much bolder richer bourbony woodsy sort of flavor now you folks will notice it's not climate controlled in here uh, that's because it doesn't have to be the heat's not going to mess up our rum not really going to affect the aging process too much all right you folks ready to try some more rum 
Yes. We want you to try three of our rums, and then we'll give you guys an opportunity to come up and try some of yours, what you want to try. Does that sound good? Every time we give you one, I want you to nose the spirit. Now, if you Thank guys you. can save half of this one, and then you're going to save half of the second one I'm going to give you, and when you're done, you're going to mix them together, and we're going to have coconut cream pie, crystal rum, and then Madagascar vanilla beans. Thank I you. used to. All right, before Time I to mix them together for the coconut cream questions. pie. Uh, you know, friendly Frankies, they're all going to carry it. The sure. rest of you who are probably either traveling um, or uh, sometimes here comes the mango. All delicious. So the mango um, is again, we get our mangoes right out of Pine Island. There, if it's rum, we have it up here. So Thank you. Don't you need to carry the rum. We're just pretty geeked on that. So. Um, I think that's about it. Uh, Maria, she's okay, walking yeah. around. Can you taste that mango? So sweet. Can everybody get there before we start? Now they said we can try two or three more samples. So that's going to be six samples total. So here's the black. Wow, a lot of sweetness to it. Really good. So here's a six year reserve. That is really uh, stronger than all the others I've tried. I think this is the one they said is a sipping wrong. Alright, this is the Brewer series. Oh, that has a good taste. I'm trying to place it. This is really a good taste, but I I can't quite place it, but it's really good. It really doesn't taste like beer. But boy, there's a hint of something in this. It's very good. I'm going to try the spice. I think so, yeah. Mmm. It does have a lot of spices in this. I know that sounds self-explanatory, right? So many good flavors. It's really amazing. It was a pineapple. Very sweet. It, it really does taste like you just opened a can of fresh pineapples or a pineapple candy. Oh my goodness. It tastes like a pineapple syrup. It doesn't even taste like rum, is it? And this is the coffee. They say the coffee stays on your palate the longest. It really does smell like I'm at Gloria Jean's when I smell this. It is a strong coffee flavor or smell. Oh, that's really good. Oh, it tastes really coffee-ish, but you'd like it if you don't like coffee, if that makes any sense. That was really, it, it tastes like a, a fancy, sweet coffee drink that you'd get at, you know, Starbucks or something. Really, really tasty. All right. Now it's time to get some souvenirs. All different mini bottles of their product. Some really nice shirts here. I think I might have to be going home with this. Well, we're back home from our tour of the Wicked Dolphin Rum Distillery. What a fantastic tour that was. I want to show you all the things that I picked up. Yes, I did buy a lot, but it was great. It's located right in Cape Coral and the tour is completely free. And then at the end, as you saw, they have a lot of different rum tastings and I'll tell you what, that is quite a sales pitch. So let me show you what I left with. One of the things that really caught my eye was this tiki glass. It says on it, Wicked Dolphin, Cape Coral, Florida. And you know that we make a lot of tiki drinks, especially when we're right here at my bar on Thursday, Thursday. So I did buy a tiki mug. 
The other thing I got were some postcards. These are for my Patreon sponsors, my channel supporters. And at one time I was sending postcards from all the places I visit. Of course, I'm not on the road as much as I used to be, but I still like to send some things out every now and then. So postcards are going to go to my patrons. One of the things that they do there at the Wicked Dolphin is they promote the restaurants that sell their brand. And so you have a little coupon here for 50% off a Wicked Dolphin cocktail when you buy an entree at one of those restaurants. So that's kind of nice. I got a sticker. The sticker is going to go to one of my lucky patrons. Uh, I haven't uh, decided who yet. I'm going to pick randomly one of my Patreon sponsors and they'll be getting a Wicked Dolphin sticker. Then I brought home a sampler pack. So all I see here um, is the doll. They do occasionally make vodka. I don't know if you picked that up in the tour. So I got a little bottle of vodka, vanilla rum, spiced rum, mango rum. Let's see what else I got in here. Uh, another vanilla, a pineapple, a key lime, and the Wicked Dolphin Black. So this is going to be really nice in future Thirsty Thursday videos when we can try drinks with different flavors. I have a large variety to choose from. Then I've got some of the coffee rum. My wife really liked this. This is probably going to be something that uh, will last a long, long, long time because she's not you know, a big drinker, but she really liked this coffee rum. So we picked up a bottle of that. And then we got this box here. Oh, I just ripped it going in. And inside the box, we have a bottle of the coconut rum. And we have a bottle of the crystal rum, which is uh, the white rum. And you know, I've been watching my Thirsty Thursday videos. I was running low and I said I was going to go and buy some. So now I got that taken care of. And then they have included a card in here that have a lot of different cocktails. They have the Wicked Sunset, the Coconut Breeze, Wicked Colada, of course, Wicked is a take on their brand, the Dolphin Daiquiri, um, the Hurricane Mojito, the Wicked Punch, which is what we had a sample of during the tour, and the Rain Killer, and I suppose the Rain Killer is a takeoff on the popular drink, the Pain Killer. And the last thing I got was this bar mat. And I guess this was kind of an expensive item. And it really doesn't even fit this type of bar. It's more for a bar than it has a well. But I really like that. So I thought it'd be nice to have this. And maybe I could even just you know put things on that when I'm making my drinks. So that's uh, quite a haul, quite a lot of stuff. I, I spent a lot more money than I expected for a free tour, but boy, that was an awful lot of fun. I would recommend if you're ever in Cape Coral and you wanna spend an hour doing something really fun that's absolutely free, head out to the Wicked Dolphin Rum Distillery. I really enjoyed it. The people were fantastic. The tour guide, um, the ladies inside the gift shop and doing the tastings of all the rum, just all the way around, it was so nice and uh, they were everyone was so accommodating and so friendly and so welcoming i had a great time i hope you did too as always i encourage you to like and share the videos leave your comments down below if you haven't already please subscribe by clicking my face in the corner and don't forget to ring that bell icon up above that way you'll know when i post new videos thanks for joining me everyone i'm mark and this is the average me channel